Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how you can cast your Windows 11 desktop onto another device. We're going to do it to an LG TV in the other room and it's really clever. You can use the magic remote on that LG TV as your mouse. So you can use this to control the PC in this room. So what we have to do is we have to go into the cast menu which is basically Windows and K. So if we do Windows and K it will bring up the cast one here and it will tell us the TV is currently on in the other room so whatever device you're going to cast this screen to make sure it's on and we're going to click on that particular device. So right now LG clicking on that and it's saying connecting. It will now ask me in the other room whether or not you want to accept the request and we are going to have to accept that request. Now you can see that there's a little checkbox here by default it's off like that. If you click that on it will say allow mouse keyboard and other inputs from this device. So now let's go to the room with the TV in. Right so here we are now it's already accepted the request because I've previously okayed it but check this out if I do that to get the uh, magic mouse up this is now the cursor that is actually going on the other screen. So if I was to go up to here and open up another page, you can see that we're opening up another page on the PC in the other room. Now clearly I'm limited to using this just as a mouse. Let me go plug in a USB keyboard and then we can enter in stuff to search from here. So I'm just gonna plug in this little USB dongle here and then we'll be able to type on this keyboard. And now you can see if I'm typing bbc.co.uk, you can see that it's working from this keyboard here. So it's a really useful feature. Then when we want to end the casting, we're just going to go back to the Windows 11 PC. And we're going to bring up the cast menu again by hitting Windows and K. And we're going to go to disconnect down here. There we go, and now it will be disconnected in the other room. Now, we don't just have to duplicate the screen. What we've seen was duplicate. You can actually use it as an extension. So you can use it as a second screen, which might be useful. And you can also do second screen only if you want to have this screen blank and use that as a second screen in there. So it's a real nice little feature. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching.